Hi, my name is Carmen from the ASPCA. We're going to help you teach your dog how to sit on command. A good way to get started is to have a little treat pouch just like this one. Inside, have a number of small treats that you can use to reinforce your dog's sit. This is Cashmere. Carmen's going to teach Cashmere how to sit by first luring her into the behavior sit. and then rewarding it with a treat. So, when you train your dog, Sit. You first hold a treat between yes. your thumb and your fingers, oh. so you're clutching the treat as if you're holding a pencil. Carmen will show you how Sit. to do that. There, yes. see, just as Good if she's girl. holding a pencil. Now you keep the treat very close to her nose. Notice how she's Sit. keeping it right at her nose. Good girl. Now you use the treat to bring the dog into a sit. And, and you can yes. see if the treat is too high, she might hop. And you, what you want to do is lower the treat back Sit. closer to the dog's nose. There, you see when Carmen brings the treat close to her nose, Cashmere easily moves back into the sit. The second step is to remove the treat from your guiding hand. So the dog is actually still following your hand, but without the treat. So Carmen will get her to stand back up. Good girl. Excellent. You see how Cashmere sat just as if the treat was in her hand, but you notice that as soon as her butt touches the floor, Carmen says, good girl, and then reaches in and gets the dog a treat. So Cashmere learns that she can get the treat without having to see it in Carmen's hand. Very important. Sit. Good girl. The other thing you can notice about what Carmen's doing is she's saying sit before she starts the movement of her hand. Doing this teaches the dog that sit is the first thing she's going to hear and the treat's the last thing sit. she's going to get and what comes in between is what she needs to do to get the treat. Very good. Excellent. Okay, step three in teaching your dog to sit on command is to hate, fade the hand signal altogether. To do this, what Carmen's going to do is she's just going to limit the amount of movement with her hand so that gradually Gasmir learns to do the behavior without any movement at all. All right, Carmen is going to start by reinforcing two sits the way she's already done it. Just to remind Cashmere what to do. Very good, Cashmere. Building this history is very important to your dog. It's very difficult for them to learn new things if you don't remind them of the old things they already know. Now Carmen's going to work to gradually fade the signal. Cashmere doesn't quite get it, so Carmen's going to help her. Good. Very good. You can see Cashmere has a definite distance where she thinks Carmen's hand right in front of her nose sit. is what tells her to sit. Good. Isn't that perfect? Carmen's going to do a couple of repetitions just to help Cashmere remember sit. what she learned. Sit. As you can see, just because Cashmere did it once doesn't mean she's going to do it again. You need to teach her, basically tell her with your good and your treats, what is the behavior you desire. Excellent.